Elise? Monsieur Mirabeau? Elise, what is this? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course, you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. when you arrived. Just the butler. He let me in, but he never came upstairs. But he was here before you. Did you see any other servants? No. No one else. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. Templar poison, Templar pin. It looks damning. Bravo. You figured it out. My cunning plan was to murder the only assassin who doesn't want to see me dead, then stand about waiting to be discovered. Not the only assassin. You're right, I'm sorry. But you know this wasn't my doing. I believe you. The Brotherhood, though. Then let's find the real killer before they get wind of this. going to solve this just standing around here. A handkerchief. A lady's handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. just standing around here. Doesn't look like it was forced. So the killer was expected? A guest, perhaps? Or a servant? Yes, sir. Have you been here all day? No, sir. I arrived at four to see to this week's delivery of wine. Anyone else arrived since then? Only the young lady with the red hair, sir. She went straight away to the master's study. And you haven't been upstairs? The weekly wine delivery is quite extensive, sir. I see. Thank you for your time. Do you recognize this handkerchief? Hmm. Oh, yes, sir. It belongs to Emily. Emily? The maid. I'm given to understand she saved up her wages for a month to purchase it. 
It made her feel like a lady, she told me. And where is Emily now? At the market, sir. Thank you. Of course, sir. Merci. You've been most helpful. Why did you kill Monsieur Mirabeau? What? You poisoned his wine. I want to know why. If this is a game of some sort, Monsieur, I do not find it amusing. I would never arm him. And anyways, I don't even have a key to the wine cellar. Only Monsieur and the butler do. Apologies. I was out of line. Encore lui? Yes, sir. Your master is dead. What? Poisoned. But I suspect you already knew that. Poison? How dare you? I've served the Mirabeau family for two generations. The, the Count personally requested I come and work for him in Paris. And, and you have the gall, the, the gall, to accuse me of killing him. For, for what reason, might I ask? Dissatisfaction at being paid twice the going wage? Envy for the greatest statesman of our time? Perhaps I burned for revenge on the man who paid for my daughter's medicine when she took ill with distemper? Perhaps I misjudged you. Forgive me. Haven't you said enough? We're not going to solve this just standing around here. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kema.
Ano. Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course. But I do know of an apothecary in Le Marais who is willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. How are you, friend? I think I can have. Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might answer. Not again. Well played. Wait. Damn you. Come back here. Slow down. Wait. Stay back, you animal. I just have a few questions.
told anyone. I did just as you said. What are you talking about? You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah, I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Ah! Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? 